Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Like this we told week, you last week, where are we heading? We're going to head to Mexico. South of we're the border. We're heading down to Old Mexico. Oh, with Arrow 5. Arrow 5 Outfitters, Jim and Tina Marie. We Great people. Awesome. My gosh, they're like family, like everybody else. Yes, and before we get too far yes. into our whole story, Lucky Logo this week is True, True Glow. Glow. When brightness counts, count on True Glow. So, you know, I think the show will tell you what to do that. Now, back to Jim and Tina Marie. Mule Deers, Mexico. Love you, it. you know, the crazy thing is, is when you hear, when you watch the media, you think, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, don't go there. Right. You know, Mexico's so bad. I'm here to tell you, we've gone there numerous times with no issues. Right, and the thing is to go with a reputable outfit. That's it. That's gonna go, they pick us up at the airport, they have all the paperwork, so when you go through the tra traffic stops and everything, it's, you're good to go. It's like going anywhere else, going to South Africa, going to, to, going to Canada. I mean, just, it's just, you know, you and here's the home. deal, Mexico is a premier spot. For hunting. Yeah. It is a game deer, rich environment. So let's get rolling, shall we? Yeah, no waste time. Mexico. Big mule deers, Hoyts. We flew into Hermosillo. Jim came and picked us up. We went and had a nice quick lunch and we headed into camp. We got into camp, we got stuff set up, you know, got stuff ready, got our camera gear and everything in place, and decided to wait till the next day to go out and hunt. Hey, I got, I got a brand new broadhead. Made it by Horner, he calls them Interbone. It's a 30 caliber broadhead. Works really good. I don't mind Ralph using that one. It might, might work really good. Ralph and I are down here hunting management deer. Basically, what we're gonna be looking for are three by fours, two by fours, three by fives, and of course, they need to be old, mature bucks. It's our first day here down in Mexico with Arrow 5 Outfitters, and what we've done is we've gotten up on a vantage point, and we're just glassing the big, the big desert flats. We're looking for mule deer. We're gonna see what we can find. It's beautiful. There's actually sheep in the mountains behind us, muleys in front of us. We can see coos deer, we can see javelina. I mean, there's just a little bit of everything out here. It's a beautiful morning. We had a really bad rain last night, but it's a beautiful morning. Look at these. saw a good management block right down here. So you guys said we could go ahead and put this up? Yes. And you also warned me to watch my head when I stand up because we're putting it on a cactus? Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. That would be bad. <laughs> so. I can tell you, this is the first time I'm putting a trail camera up on a cactus. I don't know that I've ever done that before. You just have to watch the thorns. Yeah. It will be fun. OK. These things are made. Yeah, watch your arm. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, we'll see what we get. Watch your head. <laughs> so what kind of tracks we got there? Rhino. <laughs> I think it's a little small for a rhino. <laughs> but that's not muley, right? Muley's no. would be bigger. That's a coos deer. Coos deer tracks. Where's the sheep tracks? What's the sheep track look like? Sheep track would be shorter and broader. Oh, okay. And rounder. And rounder. All of a sudden, Vicky says, Javelina, to our right. Here's this big old Javelina, man. We're down here with Arrow 5, Jim and Tina Marie, and I'm gonna tell you something. You can't beat what they got down here. We had some deer on the trail cameras that were showing that they were active in daylight. Well, we're sitting there and I see something. Here's this white dog. The ranch, one of the ranch dogs, comes and jumps right in to the water trough, starts drinking, gets out, runs around, and comes right into our blind. And we're like, oh my gosh. Only would this happen with her and I.
So we're sitting in there and we're out, you know, we're all set up and it's starting to get dark and all of a sudden Vicky says, Havelina to our right. Here's this big old Havelina man, but he's, he's something ain't up. You know, he ain't happy with something and it might have been the dog, who knows, but he came, circled around and he took off. and then a little bit later, you start catching a little glimpse in this thick Mexican brush, and here it is. Here's a good buck, and he's working his way, working his way, but something just wasn't right, and well, my first night, I saw a javelina. I think I saw two bucks for sure, but it was just not gonna happen. Well, we're loading up the Suburban. They're gonna take us to a blind that um, we got trail cameras and video of two management bucks. Um, and we'll see what happens. So we'll see what's gonna happen, but we're taking the high rack in. And this thing is a pretty wild machine, um, but it's warm. We need a little bit of a breeze and things are good. Lo and behold, we got in there. It's a big cement blind, which are pretty cool. We got in there and right before dark, we saw movement and here comes these deer and we're like, ooh, ooh, ah, that's not him. Ooh, ooh, here's another. Oh, that's not him. And then all of a sudden, we have this buck, beautiful, big, mature old buck. He's got some type of growth here on his, whether, whether he was fighting and got sparred or something, something's up. And we, he, he's a shooter. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm ready, come on, baby. But he doesn't come in till dark and he is just the dominant. <sighs> he's snort wheezing and chasing all these other deer. We're like, oh, why couldn't you come when it's camera light? My luck, every time I get somewhere and I finally get something I can shoot, Vicky tells me no. And at the same time, the doe starts walking behind him and I thought, oh boy, and he turned broadside and I thought, I don't want to miss this opportunity. I'm blind number 15. They had been seeing a mature four by four that they feel is a seven, seven year old buck and that he's not gonna get any bigger and he's gonna start coming down a little bit. When we got set up in our blind, Ralph and I figured out exactly where I could sit to shoot with my bow and he could go ahead and film and not be in my way. We sat and we waited and waited and then about, I guess it was about 5.15, all of a sudden we have a doe come walk and I said, Ralph, there's a doe coming. She was nervous coming in. And then all of a sudden, Ralph had seen antlers. He goes, Vic, there's a buck coming. Coming in, he was nosing that doe. It's middle of December. It's about 70 degrees outside and these bucks are just starting to think about rutting. Thank you. 
all of a sudden he's standing there facing us and he just turned straight over to their right and he was looking intently and so I start glassing and I can see antlers out there down the Sendero. And I say, I said, Ralph, I go, Ralph, I go, there's another buck down there. And he was staring and staring really hard down that Sendero. And at the same time, the doe starts walking behind him and I thought, oh boy, he turned broadside and I thought, I don't want to miss this opportunity. My spider has bitten again on a Mexico. <laughs> oh, so it's um, it's 5:14. We got our first buck down in Mexico. My first mule in Mexico. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> we were out there and all. Of <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you guys saw. I just we said did. No, we were up there at the oh, top, no. and all of a sudden, this death sprint just tuned right across. The buck, and the next thing we knew is that it did. Well, that's. I said to Ralph, and then I go, "Well, I go. Jim and Tina Marie are sitting on one of these little hills out here watching, and either they're, they just thought we scared the crap out of the deer, or they just saw him go running off. <laughs> no, Jim. Oh, I pinned him. Body scope, and he's like, "Look at this oh, where he was standing." Him. No, that's not him. No, that's it was him. him. That's yeah. not him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh, there it goes. Seven, that way. Oh, look, that's just right there. Oh, yeah, you can see the hook. <laughs> I'm like, I think he is. This is him. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Hey, see, my arrow did fall out. Look at that. My first Mexican muley. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Look at him. Can I You can. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Well, we said that. You guys said, you know, we're the management team, so whenever you guys have trouble and you need management, no problem. we can come out and we'll help out. We'll call the management team. And that, you, like, down here on this ranch, they got like, wide, wide mule deer. Yeah. This is a good muley, yeah. but he's not the genetics they want, so I had to take care of him. So you're doing the herd <laughs> so I did, I'm good. I'm doing the herd good. He is beautiful, my first this Mexican. This is makeup. This is makeup. <laughs> Clean they're, they're cleaning it up for us. <laughs> beautiful. Except I do think my arrow must have fallen out back there. But thank you again. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh so am I. But you know what that means? That means I'm camera the rest of the day, the rest of the week. Yeah. We can let him be camera and you and I can go play. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this was a magnificent Mexico Mue Grande mule deer. Okay. It is bottom of the ninth, two outs, and this is it. I can't say we've hunted hard, but we've hunted every day. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's definitely a more relaxed hunt. Um, the deer just aren't moving in the mornings, but they definitely move right at dark and then forever through the evening. It's not like we're dealing with full moon or anything. It's just the way it is right here. We are set up in a stand or a blind that we've sat for the last two nights. We've had bucks come in. None of them been ate the ones that we could shoot. Um, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Last night, could be or could not be. So since we did have activity at that stand, we figured we're gonna stick it out. We had a young, a young buck come in, definitely not a shooter, just not just because of his age.
Then we had another nice four by four, but he was broke. He came in, but he's still too young. And because the, that, that G2 was broke, you can't shoot him because you're not sure if he forked out real well. So, ah, I love these management hunts. Well, right at dark, Vicky goes big buck. And I look with my, with my Nikons and I'm straining this, and you can see, oh my goodness. I'm gonna tell you right now, this was a magnificent Mexico Mue Grande mule deer. And to just have him in our presence, to see him at like, the closest he got was about 34 yards. We were, we, we were pumped to say the least. Well, no matter what, we had a great hunt. Vicky got her first Mexico mule deer. And you know, I, I see, we seen some monsters. We saw, we had some good activity. It's just that when it came to my end, I just couldn't make the connection. But that doesn't mean we're not coming back we're gonna to return to old Mexico and see, well, I know there's a big muley out there waiting to be beaminized. Well, congratulations, you got, a, you you. got, I got a Mexico mule, a Mexico right? mule there. Yes, Woo. I do, and I'm sorry you didn't get one. And honestly, I did not pull you off because I wanted to. I pulled you off because it was too dark. I don't care what he says. This week's lucky logo. True Glow, when brightness counts, count on True Glow. If you happen to see the True Glow logo, you need it. that's hard to say. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, someone's gonna win some stuff from True Glow, as well as some of our other manufacturers. Jim and Tina Marie, thank you so much for oh having us gosh, down guys, there. Aero 5 so Outfitters, much. it's beautiful down there, and it's a great time to go down there, because it's like cold at home. So If you wanna time. go to Mexico, give them a holler, because it is it is the ultimate mule deer trip. Absolutely, next week, we next are going week. even further south. We, oh my gosh, Way. we're crossing the border and everything to New Zealand. Ooh, going to Four Season Safaris with Shane Johnson. With Shane Johnson, and guess what? It's Vicky and I are up, and well, we can't wait. It's our first time overseas, and oh my gosh, what an adventure. Absolutely, so thanks for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. This is the same channel. Right here. On Archer's Choice. Choice.